how is it going, wrestling fans? Are you excited for another episode of IWS Bloodstream? I know I am. Now this episode is gonna be all for the tag team lovers. If you like multi-man mayhem, this is the episode for you. Now, our first contest is gonna be between the Black Quebecois IWS World Tag Team Champions and arguably the greatest tag team in IWS history, TDT. This one is a little bit iffy, a little bit scary, a little bit dangerous. So hey, kids, put your parents to bed and check it out right now on Bloodstream. Here on IWS Bloodstream is for the IWS World Tag Team Championships, TDT, the challengers taking on the Black Quebecois, the champions, TDT of course, Thomas Dubois in the ring right now, Matthew St. Jacques on the ring apron, and the Black Quebecois, Carl Jepsen in the ring right now, and Black Dynamite Jim Prophet on the apron right now, the two strongest men in the match. Not to say that all four men are not powerhouses, but the two strongest men, Jepsen and Dubois, with a collar and a tie-up to start this one. Side headlock applied there by Thomas Dubois, formerly known as The Pipes. Carl Jepsen, a graduate of the IWS Training Center. Folks, it is, of course, IWS Bloodstream. He's going to back him up to the ropes and shoot him off here. Go for a tackle, maybe, but... It comes back and nails Dubois with a tackle of his own, does the big man, Carl Jepsen. Carl Jepsen not thinking about the front face look, but Dubois slides right behind to that nerve hold. Mongolian nerve hold, and now going to go right to the jaw, just ripping and tearing in. Elbow right to the mush by Thomas Dubois. And a stomp to the hand. These are some underhanded tactics by TDT. Used to seeing them more of a stand-up, put-up-your-dukes kind of vibe, but we'll go with it. Punch. And a big chop there by Thomas Dubois, whose hair is looking like he's right at WCW in the 90s. I love it. Suckered in, though, by Jepsen, who catches an elbow, and Hurricane by the big man. Carl Jepsen is not a small person. That is very, very impressive. And picks him up now, going to Fireman's Carry. Likes to string him up for that Yushigoroshi, but... Uh, Monsieur St. Jacques comes in and bumps Black Dynamite off the apron. What's going to go for here is Knox Black Dynamite again. Black Dynamite though saw it coming, gets out of the way. Double Irish whip here by TDT. Multiple time former IWS tag team champions, and they're maybe going to go for that buck. No, but Black Suplex even better. Better is a relative term, but regardless. Referee Francois is going to need to get some. Order, maintain some order. We see another stomp to the hand there by Dubois. Clearly, TDT did not come to play, have lost the championships to the Black Quebecois, and clearly, are... <sighs> got a chip on their shoulder. Must be it. Chip on their shoulder. Not too happy about it. We're seeing a rougher version of TDT. You know, usually they're more playing to the fans, a little bit nicer, but you know, being kind of rude to me. Not sure I approve. Just a beatdown on the corner there by the veteran, Mathieu Saint-Jacques. Solid 18, 19 year veteran is Saint-Jacques. Who now tags back in Dubois. And they're going to send him back into his own corner. And ooh, Jepsen hits hard. Now taunting Black Dynamite. One half of the tag team champions. Ooh, go right back to work. Dubois goes right back to work. And now front face lock. Going for a vertical super su suplex, but it is blocked by Carl Jepsen, one half of the WS Tag Team Champions. And he reverses it. And the crowd behind him. Carl Jepsen trying to rally. He needs to make that tag. There, a tag is made too. Two time for a world heavyweight champion, Black Dynamite, who is catapults himself into the ring and is a house of fire. Double close lines here. Double stomp on St. Jacques. Hits the ropes and. Springboard Gamangiri by Black Dynamite, who is in phenomenal shape. Look at this guy. And the crowd firmly behind him. He's going to go to the second rope and Moonsault. Triangle Moonsault takes out both members of TDT and Black Dynamite, a house of fire. He is feeling it, folks. What's going to do here now? Picking up the lumber. Set it up maybe in the corner. 
the classic, very effective way to use inanimate objects like that. And chop there by Dynamite 2. Same shock. Who takes the door and just rams it into Dynamite's head. That's another way to do it. That Prohibition logo on the door, almost like a bullseye. Prohibition, of course, one of our sponsors, along with Laga Yai. We are indebted to them. We love them. Thank you so much. Please go check them out. Prohibition with the wonderful new line. Clothing, glasses, sunglasses in particular. St. Jacques now taking exception to the crowd, and that gives Black Dynamite the opening he needed to get in there. Maybe going for a power bomb, but whoa, by the hair! Nails Dubois, but is attacked from behind by St. Jacques, and Carl Jepsen now joining the fray. A big sledge by the big monster. Gonna go for an electric chair, maybe. Electric chair position, Black Dynamite ascending to the high heavens, to the top rope. What's he going for here? Oh, no, Dubois back and crotches him, lays him out. Nothing fun about that. I think he went to the eyes there, did St. Jacques, and managed to take over. What's he got now? Throws Carl Jepsen into the ropes. Carl Jepsen thought he was going out of the ring, but no. St. Jacques using the ropes as a weapon now, and Thomas Dubois, he's got Black Dynamite on the top rope. Black Dynamite trying to fight out of this. Elbow shots to the back of the head. And the headbutt sends Dubois spiraling back to the mattress. Matt, rather, that's definitely on a mattress. Dynamite now on the top rope going for. Uh oh, was going for that double knee strike, but got caught into. Corner bomb. Through the door, and the door explodes. That is one of their signature maneuvers. Thomas Dubois telling Mathieu Saint Jacques, go for the cover, man. And he does. This one is over, too. And Black Dynamite managing to kick out out of corner bomb through a door. This is the resiliency that Black Dynamite has shown us time and time again that has made him a multiple time IWS World Heavyweight Champion and currently one half of the IWS Tag Team Champions. Black Dynamite will not be put down. Might be going for a decapitation here. Yep, Thomas Dubois hits the backbreaker. Usually, Monsieur Saint Jacques likes to use his knee drop, but he's got a big piece of door there. He's got a weapon, and nails him. Black Dynamite has not moved. One boot on one, two, and not enough to keep Black Dynamite down. Kind of a cocky cover there by Mathieu Saint-Jacques. i got to say, I'm a little bit unimpressed with this new attitude that TDT has going on. But who I am very impressed with are the Black Quebecois right now. Black Dynamite sent it to the corner. And again, using that door, they splintered it and they've used it. Black Dynamite in no man's land right now needs to get out of there. Sends them to the buckle and right back in. This is what they did to Carl Jepsen earlier. Looks like he might have hit the back of his head on the turnbuckle there. Remember, folks, that turnbuckle pad has a little bit of padding, but mostly it is just steel. And the crowd seemingly are booing DDT. TDT, one of the most popular acts here in the IWS, in some time is being booed by how they are treating the Black Quebecois. And now he's got a chin lock on him. Black Dynamite trying to rally, fire back. Can he do it? Can he make it to a vertical base? Let's hope so. Big forearm shot there by St. Jacques. And taunting Carl Jepsen. Carl Jepsen needs to keep his wits about him if he hopes to be able to rescue his tag team partner, that's for sure. St. Jacques now taking the time. He's not appreciating the way these fans are treating him, but the fans clearly not appreciating how he's treating one half of the IWS World Tag Team Champions. Black 
do here. Punch. Oh, he's going to look at this now. Rallying, trying to get to his partner. Lefts and rights. Forearm shots. Catches the boot. Spins him around. Ooh, climbing knee. Very nice. Jock turns around and eats the discus clothesline. Black Dynamite has to make a tag here. Tag him. Carl Jepsen. He does. He's right there. No. St. Jacques manages to get the tag to Dubois, who catches. Dynamite prevents the pin, but rolls through. Rolls him into his partner. Excellent teamwork. Hot tag. There's the tag to Carl Jepsen. And he comes in with those massive chops. Boot there. Irish whip. Oh, but Carl Jepsen breaks through and catches with a double drop kick. Fans firmly behind Carl Jepsen. He's feeling it, rocking and rolling. Picks up Thomas Dubois into that fireman's carry position. Ushigoroshi drops him on the knee. The Death Valley driver on the knee, gonna go for a pin here. One, two, and St. Jacques makes the save. This one will continue. But look at Black Dynamite now on the top rope, and Meteora lays St. Jacques out. And the Black Quebecois talking about, is the big man gonna fly? Wow, Carl Jepsen, one big man with a tope suicida, takes out both members of TDT, Thomas Dubois and Mathieu Saint-Jacques. And now, Black Dynamite's got something in mind. Pick him up to electric chair position. What do we got here? Dynamite on the top rope now. Might be going for eight. Avalanche blockbuster lays him out. Go for the pin. One, two, and Mathieu Saint Jacques pulling referee Frank out of the ring, breaking the count. I think that would have been three. That could have been three. Dynamite now. What's going for? Basement drop kick there sends. Saint Jacques rocking and reeling. Dynamite picks him up. Into the ropes. And oh, nails him. Right into the ring post there. The unforgiving steal of the ring post. Black Dynamite now. I think he's going to get another. No, okay, it's just a piece of door. And beating Saint Jacques with it. As he was beat earlier. Turnabout is fair play. But Black Dynamite looking for something else. He's got something else in mind. What's he got here? Another door. Another door. Montreal is going to have a door shortage. Let me tell you after this event, folks. And now Carl Jepsen setting it up in the corner. Black Dynamite making sure it's all good. Or a front face lock. But there is St. Jacques. This one. Chaotic to say the least. St. Jacques charges in, but puts on the brakes, stepped out of the way, and German suplex sends him crashing to the mat. A dynamite though, screaming, gonna go for a power bomb, but is caught with a big boot by Dubois. Another boot there, sends Carl Jepsen down. And now pointing at the door is Thomas the Pipes. Telling St. Jacques what he's got in mind, and I can assure you it is not going to be good. St. Jacques making sure to get rid of Carl Jepsen. That's a veteran experience in TDT. And picks him up. Might be another corner bomb here. But Dynamite lands on his feet. Very well done. Rolls right through. Jepsen in the way. Double clothesline. Well done. Excellent teamwork here by the Black Quebecois who ducks underneath into that. In Zagiri. Spear through the door. Amazing flurry of offense here by the Black Quebecois. Black Quebecois down, TDT down. Carl Jepsen on the top row. Big splash. He's got him hooked in the middle of the ring. One, two, and TDT are defeated. The Black Quebecois retain here on IWS Blood Street.
The IWS Hardcore Soldiers were very surprised by the underhanded nefarious tactics that TDT used in that tag team contest, but nobody was more upset than the Black Quebecois. The Black Quebecois decided to issue a challenge to their challengers. They decided, hey, you want to settle this? There's only one way to do so, and it's a ladder war. We suspended the IWS World Tag Team Championships 50 feet, 100 feet, 100, not really that much, but you understand what I mean, above the ring. Put ladders in there and decided, hey, you guys want to go to war? Settle it in the ring right now, IWS Bloodstream. This ladder war for the IWS Tag Team Championship. Black Dynamite still unable to mount anything against the challengers. Flips over, ducks under, Dynamite. Tried to mount some kind of offense, but gets launched into the ladder by TDT. Story of this match so far is Carl Jepson being left on the floor. Dynamite in the ring with Dubois say Jacques as Jepson finally makes his way in. Goes at the ladder. Dubois goes crashing down as Saint Jacques fires shots to Jepson. TDT realizing that they can't get the belts right now. They still have to do more damage to Black Quebecois, more so Jepson. Dynamite's been taking a hell of a beating so far. Jepson breaks through the clotheslines, clotheslines on his own. Big hands of Carl Jepson flooring Dubois Saint Jacques. Many classic tag team battles between Quebecois and TDT. Things being turned up a notch here. Jepson hitting Dubois and Saint Jacques with that ladder. Dynamite nowhere to be seen. Jepson launches the ladder at Dubois and Saint Jacques. Two for one special. Saint Jacques Dubois out on the floor. Dynamite still down. The Black Beast gonna take flight, suicide dive. Great athleticism from Carl Jepson. We're gonna be in the best shape that I've ever seen him in. Getting into the fighting shape of a champion. A champion who's gone to war several times with the most dangerous tag team of all of Canada. You hear the crowd support for Black Quebecois. Jepson taking some time as Saint Jacques prone on the mat. Could be looking for that big splash that he used to put away Dubois in the successful title defense last show. Landed hard on the mat. Jepson grabbing his knee. Rough landing for the big guy. St. Jacques and Dubois biding their time. Finding an opening, going right after that bad knee of Carl Jepson. Landed hard on that failed splash attempt and now easy pickings for TDT. Dubois holding down the leg. St. Jacques throws the ladder on top. Leg trapped in the ladder. Dubois on the second turnbuckle. Comes off and stomps the ladder, doing more damage to Jepson. Challengers back again in control. Jepson trying to do anything to try and fight them off. St. Jacques again attacking the knee with a chair. Oh, 
Dubois slams the knee out of the ladder. Dynamite still down. Bloody Black Dynamite. St. Jacques soaking in the reaction from the crowd. Dubois toying with Jepson. That knee, the batter knee of Carl Jabs, Jepson adding another element into this matchup. Definitely do not want to walk into a match like this and have your opponents exploit an injury. Especially something like a ladder match where you have to climb up the rungs of a ladder. TDT though showing off their tag team Intelligence. Dubois misses the splash attempt. Dynamite connects with his leg drop. Dynamite, after being out of this match for several moments, makes his presence felt. But Carl Jepson having to leave the ring. That bad knee. Ladder match continues. Another intense physical contest between Black Quebecois and TDT. This ladder war living up to its name as Dynamite slaps Dubois in response. Carl Jepson's knee injured during the course of this matchup. Punished more by TDT. Dynamite with the jumping knee to the face. Charges in, but Dubois throws the chair. Connects with Dynamite. St. Jacques fighting on the outside with Jepson. Dynamite launched, rough landing for Black Dynamite, taking out Jepson and St. Jacques. And Sickingly landing on the floor. Dubois has the ladder set up on the apron. Dubois has the ladder. Musa Machine, jeez. Not caring about the collateral damage of hitting his own partner. Big match like this, you go for the big maneuvers, the big risks. Those tag team belts hanging up there. The prize for either one of these teams. Maybe the punctuation mark on this entire war, this feud between Black Quebecois and TDT. Dubois left in the ring. Taking some time to regain his bearings. Big time moonsault. But now able to climb up the ladder. Dynamite makes it back in. Goes after Dubois. Dynamite's got Dubois electric chair. Sits out with it. Sends the ladder into Saint Jacques. Into Dubois. Spinning kick from Black Dynamite. Former IWS World Champion. Current Tag Team Champion this is Black Dynamite showing off why he's been so successful in the IWS all over TDT. Into the face from Dubois. Another successful kick for Dynamite, stunning Dubois. 
Spanish fly. Black Quebec Quad fly off the second turnbuckle. Dynamite going for the ladder. Has both members of TDT on the bottom turnbuckle. Ladder in place. Jepson still on the outside. Dynamite getting in position. Coast to coast. Black Terminator to TDT. St. Jacques trying to recover. Dubois on a knee. Jepson trying to make his way back into the ring. As Dynamite going up top. Getting close to reaching those tag team titles. Putting this match away. But Dubois shoves the ladder, sends Dynamite crashing into the ropes. Dynamite in a bad position with both members of TDT on the apron. St. Jacques lifts up Dynamite, spike pile driver, why, why? Hellacious spike pile driver from TDT, planning Black Dynamite. Called Ladder War for a reason, folks. Ladder War living up to its hype and then some Dynamite laid out. Jepson back in the ring. St. Jacques trapping the arms of Black Dynamite. Has a roll of tape. TDT looking to trap Black Dynamite. St. Jacques struggling a bit with the tape. St. Jacques trying to channel his inner red green. Wrapping that tape around the wrists of Black Dynamite, trapping him around the post. Continuous wrapping of the tape from St. Jacques. A wild made of hair in his face as he's continually taping around the body of Black Dynamite. Jepson still down and again takes more punishment to the knee with that door. Prime position now for TDT to climb up the ladder, reach those belts. Dynamite looking in bad condition. Jepson still down. Might be only a matter of moments now for TDT as another ladder being brought in. Crowd of them tell us watching as another ladder being set up by Mathieu Saint Jacques. Dubois slowly making his way into the ring. You see Jepson trying to get back in there. Black Dynamite trapped in that tape. Jepson back in, gonna do whatever he can, bum knee and all. Dynamite trying to break free. As Jepson sent back outside. Black 
Crowd trying to rally. Black pullback Quaz. TDT setting up a table. In pieces of a door, a chair, ladder. Now a table coming into play as Dubois advances on Dynamite. Dynamite gets the boot up. Gets the boot up into the face of Saint Jacques. Black Quebecois turning the table. As Saint Jacques falls on top of the table, it falls over. Q Metallica on that one. Jepson trying to make do with this table. The opening of the champions may need to get back into this one. Table set up at an awkward angle. Jepson back in there with St. Jacques. Dynamite still trapped around the post. Jepson has a hold of Saint Jacques. Powers him up. You see the paint on the face of Jepson. Taking a lot out of his knee. But slams Saint Jacques through the table. The risk of doing further damage to that knee, the reward, the tag team titles. Jepson gonna go for it. Will Black Quebecois be successful again over TDT? They've had TDT's number for so long. Could this be the crowning point? Saint Jacques, I'm oh sorry, Dubois back in the ring. Hits Saint or hits Jepson. With that chair, sorry folks, it's been just a intense, hellacious matchup. Getting caught up into it. Now St. Jacques back in the ring. As Dubois has a single leg Boston crab applied. As St. Jacques pounds away at the ladder with Jepson underneath. Sickening thuds as Dynamite desperately trying to break free. Dynamite realizing his tag team title reign may be coming to its end as St. Jacques reaches out. They get it. So the only way that TDT could beat the Black Quebecois was to tie Black Dynamite to the ring post, double team the big black beast Carl Jepson, and then win the Tag Team Championships. Well, not only that, they decided, hey, you know what, Black Quebecois? We're done with you. We don't want to wrestle you anymore. Well, Black Quebecois decided, hey, if that's the way it's going to be, then we will climb the ladder one more time. We are fighters. We are going to be victorious in their quest to once more win the IWS World Tag Team Championships. The Black Quebecois find themselves across the ring from none other than Casanova Productions and Professor H. Shane Hawk. It's tag team action coming up on Bloodstream. Welcome everybody to IWS Bloodstream here on the Fight Network. Adam B. calling the action as we're gonna kick things off with a tag team matchup. Black Quebecois, the former IWS Tag Team Champions, we're gonna get another shot at TDT, the IWS Tag Team Champions. We'll see in action later on in this episode. Carl Jepson, Black Dynamite taking on Casanova Productions. JT producer in the ring, Mac Viviani on the apron. The third member of the team, the mouthpiece, the manager, the coach, Professor H, Shane Hawk. Have to keep your eyes on him as this match goes on. Well, 
here we go right here already getting involved standing in the way of black dynamite jt producer sent to the ropes tossed with the release german suplex drop kick from black dynamite not wasting any time in comes matt viviani formerly known as fernando de la cruz doing away with that name wanting to be his own person not saddled with that character of fernando Viviani facing off against Carl Jepson. Quick shots to the face have no effect on the Black Beast. Jepson waits for Viviani, knocks him back with the shoulder. Fernando pulling one out of the Carl Jepson playbook, slapping Jepson on the chest. And hooks the arm of, of uh, sorry, Matt Viviani. Shows him how it's done. Viviani tossed by Jepson. Casanova Productions looking to make a big impression in the tag team division by defeating the former tag team champions. Viviani applies the side headlock on Jepson. Jepson powers him up. Holds him up in the air. Tosses him down. La Quebecois has been getting quite the crowd following as of late. The IWS Hardcore Soldiers would love to see Dynamite and Jepson get another shot at TDT. But to be fair though, later on, TDT will be defending the tag team titles against the Heritage. So I shouldn't get too ahead of myself thinking it'll be Black Quebecois and TDT. It could easily be the Heritage. We'll see how that progresses later on in this episode of Bloodstream. trying to get the crowd to quiet down and again gets in the bubble of black dynamite JT producer fails dynamite knocks him down but dynamite turning his attention away from Viviani Hawk jumps up interjects himself as Viviani had the referee distracted. Side rushing leg sweep, running boot. Shane Hawk wants to take Casanova Productions to bigger and better heights. A big win over Black Quebecois will definitely be the right step in doing so. Viviani springs up, comes crashing down on the dynamite. Only good enough for two. JT producer tagged in. Casanova Productions not smothering Black Dynamite, allowing them a little bit of crawl room. But they know the damage they've done was enough to keep them away from making the tag. Dynamite knocked down for a deucer. Viviani springs in, applies the sharpshooter. the hole. Black Dynamite's got the three options. Fight out, pass out, or tap out. I've never known Black Dynamite to be an athlete 
who would opt for the tap out. The crazier things have happened. You see that too, Shane Hawk pulling at the bottom rope. Dynamite gets the bottom rope. Shots, Jepson. Jepson comes in the ring. Referee Giancarlo forcing him back, but allowing JT producer some shots on Dynamite. Dynamite with the kick. Grabs producer. T-bone suplexes JT producer to Matt Viviani. Professor H looking a bit worried. As he should be, window of opportunity here for Black Dynamite to tag Carl Jepson. Jepson mowing down JT Producer and Viviani. Holds Viviani in place. Producer able to kick Jepson. Castle Productions looking for the suplex. Jepson using that raw power. Takes down both members of Casanova Productions. Jepson has GT producer. Slams him into Viviani, who's in the corner. It's the power slam. Jepson pointing up. Slams Viviani on top of JT Producer. Jepson starting to build some momentum from Black Quebec Claw. Looking to build some steam, but Shane Hawk again getting involved. Distraction allows JT Producer to blindside Dynamite. Large strikes from the former IWS Tag Team Champions. Jepson gonna try for it again. Suicide Dive takes down Casanova Productions. Dynamite with the Meteora. Jepson gonna look to take to the air. But Shane Haka again, right in front of referee Giancarlo. Dynamite's had enough. But again, Professor H spared some comeuppance. up and plants him with the elevated DDT. And now Professor H going to come in with the Shangel's wings. Casanova Productions may on, be on the brink of stealing one here. JT Producer pushes down for extra pressure. But Dynamite able to get out of it. Black Dynamite though looking worse for wear. Maybe on the brink of a big upset here, fans. Dynamite able to fall over Jepson. Shotgun drop kick. Viviani crossed up on the top. JT producer put on the top turnbuckle. With Viviani, Viviani trying to keep some form of balance, doesn't want to fall to the floor. Double avalanche hurricane Rana from Dynamite. Jepson lifts up JT Producer in the electric chair position. Dynamite jumps off. Black Quebecois Buster. Doomsday 
style. Jepson's got Viviani. Might be looking Tombstone, set out pile driver position. Double stop from Dynamite. Fire Thunder driver and side sealed and delivered for Black Quebec. Wow. Black Quebecois with the tag team victory. I'm not happy about it, but I am happy about the episode that we just gave you. I thought it was pretty awesome. How about you? If you think so, hey, hit us up on social media at IWS Hardcore on every single platform on YouTube, all over the place. Check us out, engage in the conversation. Let us know what you want to see. Folks at home, for Prohibition and Lagavier, IWS, and the IWS Training Center, I am Shane Hawk. Thank you so much for tuning in, and hey, we'll see you next time.